Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at this new Orange Pi 14 inch portable monitor that I just picked up. It has 1080p resolution, dual speakers, uh, it's basically an IPS LED backlit display, um, supposedly compatible with a whole bunch of different things like a PlayStation, Xbox, etc. etc. I'm generally using it for Orange Pies, Raspberry Pies, and other SBCs. So yeah, th this is me opening it up. Uh, th this is what you get in the box. So there's the display itself. Let's pull this out first. And uh, it has a re reflective tape on it that I'm actually not gonna pull off until a little bit further in this video. So it doesn't, it looks, um, it doesn't really look as shiny as what you see right here. It's a little bit less shiny than that. But you, you, you'll see when I pull that off a little bit later. But it's a pretty reasonably good build. It has those two little screws in the back in case you want to mount it. It also comes with a little stand. We're going to show you that in a sec also. So set that aside and got some other stuff in here. Comes with some cables. Comes with a, uh, comes with a charger. Yeah, so this first one. It will just plug into the charger that will power it up. This it comes with a, an HDMI cable as well. And it comes with a manual and a, a nice little stand here. It's that's a pretty minimalistic stand. It's nice. Yeah, there, there's the charger. Nothing too exciting, but it's great that it comes with a charger at least. And there's the stand. You're, you're gonna see us set that up in a little bit. So there's the manual, nothing too exciting worth looking at. It'll show you how you need to hook it up. Um, for example, you might need to, it, it might need power if you're trying to run the monitor with your phone or, or a tablet or something like that. Whereas if you plug it into a PC or your laptop or something, you're, you're not really going to need power. Um, so th there's that, you know, worth considering. If you're plugging it into a Raspberry Pi, you're going to want to power it too. Other interesting thing, I was able to hook up a Raspberry Pi and power it directly from the monitor. And this, the same is true for an Orange Pi. Um, I'm going to be using this with Orange Pi products and actually buying a lot more Orange Pi products. Um, you'll see it here on the side. It has a, an audio jack, a USB port, and a little, a little selector for navigating the menu, and a power button. And on this side, you have one USB port for one USB-C port for power and one that can be used to drive a display and another, I believe it can be used to drive a display and it also has a, an HDMI port. I've only tried the HDMI port for display. Um, anyways, like I, I was saying before, um, that USB port, and this is this is me pulling the, uh, the screen protector off, but yeah, the, that USB port can be used to power a Raspberry Pi or any other, um, or another single ward computer. So that, that's actually what I did, and um, I'm actually not going to show that in this video, but I, I did test out um, po powering an NSBC off of the USB port on this monitor, and it worked. Now in this case, you <clears throat> you notice I have it's an Orange Pi monitor with a Raspberry Pi 400. i um, thinking about picking up the Orange Pi 800 soon, so we're going to try that out with this. But you notice I have the HDMI plugged in, not their HDMI cable, but I used a separate HDMI cable that will hook up to my uh, my Raspberry Pi 400. So Raspberry Pi 400 is uh, plugged into a power adapter on the wall, but um, I also tried this with an older Raspberry Pi, which I actually powered from the monitor itself. I haven't tried powering the Raspberry Pi 400 from, from this monitor, but yeah, some things can be powered by it. So um, j just worth being aware of anyways, but you see how clear this monitor looks? The, this, the screen looks pretty clear. Um, to me, it looks pretty clear. It's only 1080p, but it's a pretty nice looking screen. Um, having this wallpaper in the background sure doesn't hurt. And you know, just to give you an idea of how it sits on the stand and what it looks like from the front and from the back. So it's, relatively, it's a relatively thin monitor. Um, it's light, it's, it's still, you know, it's all plastic, but it's like a, it still feels like it has good build quality. And um, I, I like the look and feel of it. Um, and, and this kind of shows you what it looks like from the side. So you, you have some, the image quality still remains pretty decent, even from the side. So it's not like a piece of junk monitor or anything. So yeah, overall, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. 
anyways, um, if you want to see more content like this and more single board computer content, more um, you know Raspberry Pi, Orange Pi, or other content, coding servers, all networking, all the great stuff we do. We do 3D printing, robots, all kinds of cool stuff. If you're into that and, and you want that type of content, hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon. Otherwise, YouTube won't let you know when we come out with a new video. And um, yeah, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment down below if you have any questions, comments, criticisms, anything you want to say, we do want to hear it. If you know something I don't know, leave a comment down below, not just for me, but for the next person who watches this video. And um, as always, hopefully you found this useful or at least interesting. Um, but yeah, as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.